Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News. Brought to you by 3D Systems. We're here at Inside 3D Printing Santa Clara. Next to me is uh, Hod Lipson from Cornell University. So Hod, you were the, the chair for the Inside 3D Printing Santa Clara here and put together an incredible program. Can Thank you tell you. us a little bit about how, how did that come together? Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, been fascinating to see the growth of the field. And I think uh, you know, one of the challenges we had putting the program together is sort of uh, what not to include. Sure. Uh, the, uh, the program is sort of sprawling and it's you, uh, you know, you can see how uh, 3D printing is really entering almost every field. Uh, we have everything from, you know, medical printing to biology to aircrafts to, to printing food. So it's, it's, it's just getting into every field and uh, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, quite a challenge to keep track of everything, but uh, we've managed to do that. Sure, sure. I'm obviously done a great job with that. Thank you. So how do you see the role of, of trade shows and, and shows like Inside 3D Printing for the, you know, pushing the industry forward with 3D printing? It's, you know, the, the field is growing so fast, so quickly, and uh, the topics are uh, becoming, and then there's so many topics involved in 3D printing that I think what the role of, of trade shows is to put it all together, to, to to you know, create one spot where you can go and you can in one day or two days just get an idea of what's going on. And usually, if you're in a particular area, you want to drill a little bit more deeper into that area. But uh, I think uh, it's uh, it's become very difficult to keep track of anything uh, of the field in any other way. I still remember the old days where I sort of knew all the groups working on 3D printing. I knew what everybody was doing. I knew the literature. Uh, it was uh, easy, but it's not easy anymore, and that's the role of the trade shows. Definitely, and the, the development is so fast. Um, and now people, a lot of people talking about the, um, the hype curve around 3D printing. So what are your views on that? So, you know, every other talk, you, you see somebody pulling up the hype curve and saying, okay, we're on the, you know, on the upside, but soon we're going to be on the downside, and, and everybody's thinking about what's going to happen then and so forth. But at the same time that people are saying that, what you'll notice uh, is that they're updating their figures, their predictions upwards. Every talk I've seen where people bring statistics about number of products made, number of, you know, amount of material consumed, number of printers sold, number of users, any way you look at it, it's going up, up and up. And not only is it going up, but the predictions for the future keep being updated up. So I'm thinking that maybe uh, this particular technology is not going to follow the traditional hype curve, uh, maybe we're on a different curve. And uh, some technologies, uh, basic uh, foundational infrastructure technologies do not follow the hype curve. They keep going up. Nobody's, uh, uh, you know, there's no hype curve for, for the internet, all right? So it keeps going up. It doesn't go down and then go up again and, and stop somewhere. It keeps going up. Computing is the same way. Communication, the same way. There are certain basic technologies that are so fundamental to development that they just keep going up exponentially. Uh, I believe that 3D printing is one of those technologies. Everybody's talking about the hype curve, everybody's talking about the, the trough that's coming soon, but I don't think we'll see that. I think it will keep growing. Uh, at least uh, predictions uh, uh, keep uh, being adjusted upwards. And, as, uh, and the reason for this is because uh, unlike many other technologies that, that have a sort of finite market, uh, that they need, to, they sort of consume and fill up and then uh, sort of reality sets in, they go down and they reach a, a sort of finite level. Uh, this is such a foundational technology that it creates its own growth. It enables its own future growth. It creates new business models that then feed back and create more need for the technology which then expands and creates even more opportunities. So it's a self-amplifying technology and that's why I think going to see, keep seeing growth uh, in the future. Well, that's a very interesting view. Now, uh, coming back to the show, what's been your highlight so far? Oh, there's, it's, it's really difficult uh, to, you know, to, to pick one or two, but uh, one of the things that I've uh, uh, been fascinated with uh, is uh, uh, you know, new applications, uh, new types of materials. So one thing uh, that, s some things that sort of indicate uh, both uh, new development and sort of maturity of the field. So new developments, for example, I've seen uh, 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 just recently a talk about printing uh, uh, rocket fuels. So, you know, we've, we've heard printing 
um, you know, metals, we've heard printing plastic, we even heard printing chocolate and live cells. But printing fuels uh, is a really new, exciting uh, opportunity and, and that just just an example, one of, you know, a thousand of different ways in which people are using this technology to really uh, even expand uh, the range of space travel. You know, who thought? But uh, on the other hand, another exciting thing that I've seen are a series of talks on applications of, uh, of, of uh, 3D printing or implications of 3D printing in other areas like uh, intellectual property. Um, uh, how does the FDA deal with things that are 3D printing? These are all sort of signs of maturity of the field. Uh, I've heard uh, you know, uh, amazing talks about uh, things like bioprinting, printing, um, uh, printing heart valves. Mm -hmm. uh, these are, we're not talking about just printing, uh, you know, uh, a bone or even something like that that's relatively simple, but printing, uh, uh, you know, life-saving uh, organs that, or, or parts, uh, uh, complex tissues that, that uh, you know, nobody would have imagined uh, is possible just a few years ago. So, it's, it's, I, can, I can see only growth in the future. Well, that's all very fascinating. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank Have you. a great show. Keep Thank up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems.